euro pound 97 pips let's break it down okay so what you're saying people and welcome back to your favorite youtube channel so today guys another live trade breakdown video for you on the screen as you can see you got the euro pound position there which i took earlier this week on tuesday i believe for roughly around 97 pips and i did share it on my telegram group so feel free to check out that group if you want to if you're interested links in the description to that but yeah guys going to give you a full breakdown of this trade entries stop loss targets partials management analysis going into the trade everything to do with this trade i will be discussing in this video if you are enjoying the content please be sure to like subscribe hit the bell if you haven't done already but yeah guys let's get straight into it so as you can see we've got the position there but we'll get the replay tool out um first just so we can you know see what my thought process coming into the trade you know before we discuss entries uh, and stuff like that so if you guys don't know already i use the higher time frames to develop a bias in the market then i particularly focus on the full h for the structure and areas of interest and i use my hourly time frame to enter my trade so for euro pound zooming out you can see we've had um it's pretty choppy but the market has been a clear downtrend for quite a while until recent times we did snap through the structure there giving us a higher high a higher low then we had the crazy pound weakness giving us the high all the way up there so i'm looking for the market to print a higher low somewhere around here for continuations to the upside i've had some signs in the market is running out of juice to the downside so i'm looking at a higher low developing for just another higher low and continue that bullish structure the market is now in so from a higher time frame perspective i do have a bullish bias again just focusing all on the structure no need to do anything special you can see what we were bearish here market's broken structure now we're looking for the higher low so from a higher time frame perspective i know i'm looking for buys now going into the 4h time frame i'm mapping out structure and areas of interest to actually trade my bias so on the 4h time frame we do have this bearish structure here um, so again, I need to see some signs that the market is starting to tire before I can actually look for my positions. So I did see this market here fail to really take out these lows, giving us that double bottom. Again, if the market was going to continue bearish, you would expect us to break through and continue that trend. However, it failed and we saw a pretty impulsive reaction from that level to the upside as well back into the prior highs. So from a 4H perspective, I can see the bearish trend here is starting to run out and we could be looking at the 4H becoming bullish and lining up with the uh lining up with the daily as well so i'm looking for buys and now i'm looking for particular areas to enter my trades number one this is the first area of interest and number two let me just leave that level down there and number two this is my second area of interest which is that consolidation which gave us that big strong push to the upside so dropping onto the hourly time frame i'm looking for i'm looking for entry signals um, again, I didn't I didn't look to enter at the first kind of rejection of this level, which is here. Reason being, if I go back to the full H time frame real quick, you can see the market is testing these highs here. So I knew I don't want to be entering too high up. And number two, the market most likely will have a fake out of these lows first if it is going to push higher. So I made sure not to get in on the first entry, but make sure the market takes out these lows for a fake out and then give me the entry signal or just take out these lows and go to my second area of interest. Wasn't too bothered really uh, what the market does as long as you know, I can get a good entry, which is either back above the zone or down there. In fact, if it actually does go hit my second level, I would have had a, a much better risk toward anyway. So after we just took out those lows there on the hourly time frame, I was waiting for us to get back above because we could still hold this resistance and drop to the second level. But I was going to see if the market can get back above and that, that's when I'll look for my entry signal. So if I press play, you can see the market was consolidating, which was a good sign. Normally when we get the breakout, you do expect momentum to continue. But we were consolidating this was during the agent session and then i woke up and the market was breaking to the upside and that's when i entered my position at the start of the london session and my stop loss was just below this low here with a bit of wiggle room just in case the market wanted that wick out to the downside or something like that just to give myself some um, room to work with so normally when i enter my positions i do normally wait for the break and retest back above but i was fairly confident about this position and the fact that we already had the fake out of this low and you most like the momentum was going to continue so i was more than happy to take the risk of entering this trade if it did fail you know i'll look to get back in down here which in fact would have given me a, a much better risk to reward if i entered on that level anyway so i would have made back my profit of course if that was a winning trade um 
if that was a loser, but normally I do wait for the break and retest. So that was my entry on that candle and I was looking for a push into this level here as the first target for the trade, which is this double top area here, one and two. You can see the market reacting with that area. So I know if we do see a push to the upside, there's a good chance the market's gonna come straight back down if it does reject that level again. So I wanna be making sure uh, I'm A, securing my um, profits, so I take 20% coming into that level, and B, taking my risk off the table, moving my stop loss to break even at that point. And then my final target was this wick area here. You can see the market is placing a lot of wicks into this level, which means that if the market comes up here, sellers are located, and we could see a quite a strong reaction off that level. I was actually gonna target this area up there, but I was more than happy with the one to three risk reward we had coming to that zone. I knew sellers will step in, no need to push the trade too far. Again, I'm not trying to take advantage of the full swing back to these highs. You know, I wanna take two, three, four trades and work my, work my way up rather than do it in, in one big go. So that was the entry, that was take profit one, take profit two. Let me just mark it up so you guys can see it a little bit clearer. TP1 and final TP, but we'll just call it TP2. Just keep things simple. And then obviously stop loss entry, and then let's see how it goes. So we were in a bit of a drawdown market, snapped in our favor. In fact, that was actually the break and retest that I could have entered on if I didn't enter on that candle. Would have been a slightly you know, higher entry, but um, pretty much the same area. Then the market came back down and tested it again. Again, just seeing the trade through, trusting your analysis. And finally, we did have a big push to the outside. Things were looking pretty good. Smacked into the first TP level, secured 20%, stop loss to break even. And then the market eventually came into our level. And if I fast forward, you can see the market actually reacted with this and actually came straight back down. And unfortunately, I was actually looking to get back into this trade um, again this morning, but I missed the entry signal. Price was trading here. I was looking for one more test of this level for the double bottom for the buys. However, the market just consolidated, wicked down, and then London session, market's pushing to the upside, as you can see there. So I'm still looking at buys for Euro pound, maybe going into next week, because they today is Friday. Maybe if you go to next week, pull back another high low, and then we can jump back into the positions, because I'm still looking at push you know, up to this level, like I said earlier. And now that we've already had the reaction from this level, there's a good chance the market's gonna go tap into 0.88600 now. So I'm still looking at buys for Euro pound. Unfortunately, missed the buys this morning, but hopefully there's gonna be some retracement going to next week and I can jump back into that. So yeah, guys, that is the full breakdown of the video. Again, nothing too complicated. There's no secret magic to it. Just understanding the, the, the concepts of support resistance and market structure. Candlesticks, uh, candlesticks as well and just knowing when to enter and identifying good setups from bad setups that's all it really is so yeah nice trade there roughly 97 pips i will do a trade breakdown on some of my losing trades as well just to show you guys i'm doing the exact same thing but it doesn't work all the time so i'll do some trade uh, trade breakdown videos for those if these videos do help you with your own trading let me know in the comments down below i am interested to find out but thank you so much for watching the video have a great day guys and i'll catch you all in the next one